right now recording. Stream three, two. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. My headphones are not on. Wait a minute. I still can't hear anything. Hold on. Oh, I had to turn them on. There we go. Huh. Still can't hear. Wait a minute. Ah, here we go. Oh, thank you. there we go. Now we got it. We got it. We got it now. We're good. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Trilogy. So, where we left off, we were on. We finished the second case, and now we are on the third case. Turn about Samurai. Which I believe is about Steel Samurai. It's been a minute since I played that one. You are disgracing for the last time, Steel Samurai. The pale moon in the sky cries for your blood. That's not nice in HD. The moon. No, it is you who should gaze upon the moon. For it will be the last moon you ever see. This actually looks cool. Oh shit. See you in hell, evil magistrate. Magistrate? Ma magistrate? I think it's Magistrate. The warrior's sword gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The Dark Messenger Returns. That feels like Dragon Ball. October 14th, 5.31 p.m. Right in Cole offices. Right, it's my office now. Because, well, Miyafei dies, so that's kind of sad, but... My office. My shit. I, I did that. I did that. Oh, let me adjust this a little bit. Actually, I wonder, can I put you higher? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I put you higher? Can I put you, like, up here? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I want to see. See if I can... I don't know how, but it worked, so... I might keep you up there. I, I ain't gonna lie. I might keep you up there. Let me angle you a little bit better. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> I just put, I just literally just put you on top of my uh, freaking lamp right here. So yeah, this will this will this will work fine. This will work nicely. All right, let's go. That rocked! See when hell, evil magis- mad- fuck, magistrate. <laughs> I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna get that- that fucking name right. Does it matter if I turn this up? Oh, not really. Okay, hold on. So, only thing I can affect my volume is the actual button. Hold on. Where is it? There we go. Okay. Whoa, stop raving that broom around. Oh, Nick, I didn't know you were here. Of course I'm here. Well, that's the real show you were watching. What? Nick, you mean you don't know the Steel Samurai? It's only like the most popular TV hero for young people. Young? Like, how young? Um, 10 years old? Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. Only 17. Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17. See? I'm a teen. Not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Then watch it with me. It's really cool. And it's really popular. When they asked grade school kids what they wanted to be, Steel Samurai was number one. I don't really worry about kids these days. As do I. <laughs> Ramps. 
while the Steel Samurai is over, I guess it's time to close up the office. I guess. Wish I had some clients. Hey, you lucky rabbit. Thanks for being a first time viewer. Month has passed since my trial. Mia's murder was the talk of the town for some time. But no one paid any attention to the White and Cola offices. How am I gonna pay the rent this month? Just pay it. <laughs> just, just, just pay it. <laughs> It'll be okay. I'm just some big client is just around the corner. Um, I'm pretty good lucky, Rabbit. Um, been, been alright day so far. Had a headache earlier, but took some time and all handled that. October 16th, 8.14am, Phoenix Wright's bedroom. Hello? This is Phoenix. Nick! Maya? What? It's still early. It's the Steel Samurai! The Steel Samurai got arrested! Huh? You mean the guy on that show? I guess she means the actor. Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Um... Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV. No, I mean he actually did it in real life! He skewered a villain with a Samurai Spear! I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. This <laughs> is that one call you get late at night. Just come to the office quick, please, Nick. Oh, Jesus, wait. I just thought about it. I may need I may need someone to do this stream with me, because when I get to... I know Pearl's in this game somewhere. When I get to her, my voice is going to be fucked. Maya's here, watching television. Now for the morning news. The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers plays a lead role in the popular kids show The Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo O Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was still fa was found still inside the Evil Magistrate costume. The samurai spear was also found struck stuck through the body. Please believe this is the murder weapon, and are investigating further. This has to be a joke. No, no, no! It's a nightmare! The Steel Samurai is over! The world is over! Pick up the I'm about to pick up the phone. Yes, right in Cola offices. What? Nick! It it's a Steel Samurai! What? Yes. Yes, of course. We'll be right there. Let's go, Nick. Go? Go where? They have the Steel Samurai down in detention. So what? So, I decided this would be our first case. Yeah, no, no need talking to her. I guess I'll just move. No real use of time to talk to Maya right now. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Why oh, is this like a discount Wolverine? <laughs> What's wrong, Maya? It's him, in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? What do you mean, that guy? Of course it's him. Will Powers, our client, that's him. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but he definitely did it. Murder, at least once, maybe twice. Whoa, 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 what are you saying? Um, y yes? Something wrong? Oh, really? That's funny. N no, no! This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? D disappointed? Oh, no, oh, no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know? I didn't want to wreck their dreams. Oh. I guess it didn't matter. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> Damn. 
got this big ass huge jack and fucking Nick What? He's a good guy. I mean he's good. Yeah. He didn't do it. Well, you should have changed your mind quick. I don't remember most of this game, but I remember Maya getting convicted a lot. Like, way more than the second case. Maybe you could start by telling us what happened? Y yes, of course. It seems like it was only yesterday. Actually, it was only yesterday. The cast have come down to Global Studios for a run-through. Went through a few action, action sequences at 10 o'clock at morning. There was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 o'clock in the afternoon. When 5 o'clock came around, and the staff gathered in the studio, the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the set. He dead. He took off his mask and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead. He had been expertly skewered with a samurai spear. Uh oh, lagging, 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 lagging. Stop it, stop it. Stop it. Thank you. The Samurai Spear? Yes, it's a long spear that I, that Steel Samurai, uses as a weapon. Maybe you could explain to me just what the Steel Samurai is? Nick, how could you say such a thing? I I'm sorry, sir. I apologize for my partner. He's new to this and a bit out of touch with the world. Hey, who's new to this? No, it's all right, really. The Steel Samurai is a lead character in a popular kid show. We walk the streets of Neo Old Tokyo, fighting battle after battle against the evil magistrate and his minions. Of course, he never really defeats the evil magistrate. Although, I guess he did defeat him this time. <laughs> I see. Neo Old Tokyo? Who comes up with these names? Now, where are you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the studios at 9. We worked through some action scenes until noon. The rehearsal was, about, was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. Ooh, it's really hot. Hmm, hold on. I turned my fan up a little bit. So much power right now. Ooh, 63. Screw it, I'm after I cool at least. Sorry if you guys hear the fan, I, I had to had to turn on cool at least because my shit's getting really hot. Okay. So after lunch I took a nap in my dressing room. When I woke up, it was after five. I was late for the rehearsal. I hurried to the studio and found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me on the spot and brought me in. So he was sleeping the entire afternoon of the murder? Some action hero. Who the kids think? I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right, Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow, Nick. Let's go. I'm willing to bet 10 bucks she asked for autographs. Alright, to the local studios. Wow, so this is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Awesome, aren't you excited? Oh no. I don't remember much of this game past the second case, <laughs> but I remember this bitch. <laughs> I remember this woman. Oh my lord. Wendy fucking old bag. 
I don't even know what voice am I gonna give it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me think. Hey, you there? <laughs> yeah, I'm going with that. You want in? You gotta go through me. Uh, oh, s sorry. We're um lawyers. Oh yeah. Well, that's great. I'm security, and it's my job to make sure that gawkers like you stay out. Gawkers. Let's try something else. Uh, let me think. What would like an old bitchy white teacher sound like? Hold on. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really trying to think of a good voice for her <laughs> that I can manage constantly. Um. Hmm. I had a voice for her when I played this game as a kid, but I can't remember what it was now. I gotta, I gotta think. I don't know. Hmm. Gawker, sightseers, Taurus. Yeah, that's all. That's all I. That's all I can manage. I, I can't do anything. I can't think of anything else. I know that type. You heard about the incident and came to snoop around. Use today. Something horrible happens like... Oh, oh, oh no. I, I hate when she does this because I can't read it. <laughs> like, like, what these... Uh, I was young one, right? Uh, if he calls... What, what do these call... That's called... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate when she rambles because I can never... <laughs> I can never read it that quickly. Um, Nick? Will I grow up to be like her? Please say no. I don't know, it's possible. Hey! Listen when you're being spoken to! Use today! I only got a few words you said. <laughs> Me too. I can never act that out. The fucking babbling that she does. I hate it. It's funny, but I I hate trying to I hate trying to fucking voice act it because I can't. It's too fast. So what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, you make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days... No? No, you were a star? Only a little, only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Wow. This place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that it, now... But ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, too. He was... Hammer? The victim, dummy! The evil magistrate! He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Can you tell me about Will... Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it, believe me. Oops, I didn't open that. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know that for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if only you knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite, Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? But, there's an accident during filming five years ago. He had an unlucky break after that. We're used to playing the villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Why are you so certain that Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from 1 in the afternoon to 5, when they found the body. Now the studio where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studio, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. But Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. 
He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Powell's request. Hmm, I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. And maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns the place, obviously. Well, back to the detention center, because apparently I need a letter. Hello, how was the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? N no, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> Um, about the security guard at the main gate of the studio? Old security lady? She's terrible! She called me suspicious looking! Yes, actually she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask, were her words, I believe. She sucks up to all the bigwigs at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let up on you. God, he's got some nerve. You think you write up a oh? You think you write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Uh, of course. Powers request added to the court record. I just hope this will get me past the security lady. You take your shit, ma'am. Have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm. Yes, yes. I can rec I recognize the bold, childish scrawl. I think he would entrust his fate to youths of such unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left from here, towards the studios. No going to the right, that's the employee area. No one allowed in oh. No one allowed inside, pal, were my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey, Nick! Huh? There are maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents! And I'll see you. So. <clears throat> hey, aren't you that murder from the other day? It's that confused detective! Hey, pal. You know Prosecutor, Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset, and it's your fault. I saw him sipping tea and glit and staring gloomily out the window. Um, so? Hey! If he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Damn. Get roasted. <laughs> um, detective? I think he hurt his feelings. Oh no, I I'm sorry. I don't think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. I can't. I can blame other people all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey! Don't take it so hard. There's always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what is that for you two doing here anyway? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Huh? Hey, you can't just go around saying pal like that. That's my endearing character trait. I'd say he's a character, all right. I don't know why, but Gumshoe's theme, fire. I remember having this as my ringtone. I love this dude's theme, bro. Him, him, and fucking um, what's that? What's that robot guy's name? Godot, I think, or Godo. So how's your investigation uh, going, Detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. 
Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right, so, detective, I'm about to take a look at what you got. What I got. The autopsy report. The latest version, if you believe. <laughs> Callback, Edgeworth. Hmm, right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. Fucking Edgeworth. It's fucking outdated. <laughs> oh, it's obviously a report. Why was Mr. Pal was arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no other one. There was no one other than the victim in the studio. <laughs> Hold on. That shit does lots of my favorite. At that time, there was no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. When one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30. And that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. Nick, if that's true, anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady with a charm. Huh? Are we talking about the same person? When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what Power said? She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? What kind of evidence? Well, that, uh, photo. The photo of the steel samurai headed toward the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up on that gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah, whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically snaps a photo of him. Oh no! Nick, he has evidence! We're finished! Funny, somewhat hard proof he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? You see you down. Don't look so happy when you say that. <laughs> um, would you like to ask the employees here some questions? Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not gonna find any clues I haven't already found. <laughs> I'm glad somebody around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We got a free pass to the place. Now's a chance to check things out. Nick, look! That security lady's in the guard station stuffing your face with donuts. I guess all cops like their donuts. Yeah, they're soft enough. She doesn't need the teeth. She doesn't need teeth to chew them. Hey, you! Well, are you satisfied Powers is guilty yet? You're. She did make my life harder by giving that photo detective gumshoe. Uh huh. What happens if I show her my badge? What's that? You giving that to me? Absolutely not. Ah, oh, well. Why don't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Hmm? Oh, that. I just thought it'd be more thrilling to talk to the detective himself. These things are important, you know. Oh, just to the left, just to the left from here is the gate that the camera, with the camera that took the photos. It's my job to take the photos every day, you see. The scar station is in central position. No matter where you go here, you pass by my station first. Now poor Hammer, he went to the studio just before 1 o'clock. The murder happened right around 2.30, see? The only one I seen go through here between 1 and 2.30 was Powers himself. The security camera got a good look at him, too. If he's not the one that did it, I don't know who is. Maybe it was you? <laughs> good one, Sonny. She thinks I was joking. Was the victim, Mr. Hammer, a popular actor? Oh, he was the biggest star in the studio. Was past tense? Oh, yes. He was, he was great as the bearded samurai. That too, yes. He shone the brightest back in the day. 
making a star like him play the evil magistrate. It's a disgrace, I tell you. Hera took it pretty hard. Who can blame him? What about the security camera? Oh yes, the camera. It's automatic. It can tell when someone walks through the gate, see? Then it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time when it takes a picture, too. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over in the guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. Uh... Then I guess that's all I got. I feel like the play area now. Nick! This is where they do all the behind-the-scenes stuff. Hey, look! There's Power's dressing room! No one's... No one's here this soon after the murder, I guess. Let's take a look around. Uh... Slide... Well, that's interesting. The mother grade on the drain here has been taken off. That's a pretty big drain. A kid could fit through there, I bet, foreshadowing. Yeah, if you snuck in that way, you probably wouldn't have to pay at the gate. Well, if you want to leave that way, be my guest. Right. Huh? Hey, I'm not a kid. Yes, you are. Y yeah, yes, you are. The main thing yesterday, lunch was scattered around. It was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a tea bar on one of the plates, minus the steak. Mmm, T-bone steak. That would have hit the spot. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. What? Maya's a fat ass. We all know this. The door to the dressing room. It's not locked. Hey, Nick, let's take a look inside. Maybe we can find something as a souvenir. What do you mean, find? You never know. That'd be something like the samurai spear. We don't need a spear. And that's the murder weapon for crying out loud. Yeah, Maya, you freaking weirdo. Power stressing room. So this is where he was sleeping? Or at least, this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him take a nap here, did they? Right. There's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth, for his sake. Can't see you can find here. What's in this bag? Hmm? This must be Power's bag. Hey, don't open that. Look! An employee card key. Oh, wait. An employee card key. That must be Power's. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow. Nah, we definitely need take. We're, we're stealing it. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. Hmm. Not sure where to go now. Outs oh, right, we didn't go in the studio one or outside studio one. Hey, detective, take a look at this. What was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't show him that. He'll confiscate it. Aw, I just wanted to show it off. So how do we get past this, man? The entrance to Studio One. This is Studio where they found Jack Hamill's body. Let's come in and check it out, Nick. What if this car can be marked in the dressing room will work? It opened! Oh, right! We're in! She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. <laughs> I am borrowed it, Your Honor. That is indeed. That, that's... I mean, hey! It works! Alright, inside Studio One. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so... 
That's so real. Well, the evil mag magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was a samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. I can't tell if that was sarcasm. <laughs> I don't think there's anything that works. I think there's anything I really look at besides this. The outline where Jack Hammer's body lay the tape. His body was, fa was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny. I expected the spear stabbing would leave at least a few bloodstains. I guess the costume must have been more most of it. The night. Yes, so I would do here. Oh, he's sitting in the chair. I gotta look at that. I got the script. Wow, look at that camera. That must cost a ton. Yeah, so don't touch it. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought. Hey, you. No touching that. Oh, I gotta change, I gotta change the voice for you. Ah, uh, um, sorry. My partner is kind of, you know. You know? No, I don't know. Enlighten me. <laughs> um, who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff. Moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Mr. Will Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers. WP. I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit. But do what you can for WP, okay? He'd never hurt a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry. Leave it to us. Fuck, why do you get gumshoes theme? You, you don't you don't deserve that hype theme, okay? That, that's not yours to have. What's this? Well, that's her reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something. Oh, that's not what I put that, my fault. The assistant holds holds a dirty filming. Huh. What? Wish enthusiasm for all enthusiasm for all things entertainment. Well, lighting is fine, but I wanna be the director. Or eat the steel samurai. I think she's being serious. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. One of those black and white boys that clapped at the start of filming. And look, a megaphone! A real life megaphone! <gasps> Excuse me. Ready, Nick? Action! This girl's more chill than I thought. Tell me anything about the day of the murder. Yes, I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studios isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearse was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there along with everyone else. The employee area. That's where Power's dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in this room? No, well, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private... It's his private. What kind of girl do you think I am? What kind... No, no, I'm sure you're a fine girl. Um, sorry. Sorry for giving a confirmation of Power's alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. WP was the only one who came to the studio. Then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry. I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! That's what I'm talking about. A clue. A lead. Well, I don't know about that, but that day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes, several times. Some other studio's employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from... Outside. 
Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. So you sense that someone other than the regular film crew was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick, what about that security lady? Someone else came to the studio, she must have seen her. Alright, let's make some movements. Hey, old bag, I need to talk to you. What? You're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I want to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., correct? And you asked me at a time of Hammer's death was 2.30? Are you sure that Powers is the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Eep! Alright, uh, you better tell me and tell me quick, you spiky-haired cretin! So to complain about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her! She's not even a full-time employee! All you youngins are like that nowadays, running your mouth like there was no tomorrow, saying this and that, you other thing. Well, not as long as I tell you, we need to respect, uh, respect your own say, uh... <laughs> She's went to a freaking flurry. She left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. Oh, wait. I want to examine that computer. The computer runs the studio security cameras. Nick, maybe we can see that photo of Powers with this computer. Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Should I try the computer? Yes, maybe. Alright, let's give it a try. You gotta work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see. First, I need the date of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1 p.m. that day. 1 p.m. That was when the security. I'm gonna say 1 p.m. 1 o'clock. That was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security cam. Oh. There, entered. <laughs> I got it right, I just guessed. Hey, Brenna. <coughs> <coughs> hmm, excuse me. Hey, print out the data for that day. Let's see what we got. Huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Oh, how is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one that always wears a suit. That's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm? So let's put it on the back. Huh? October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number 2. What does that mean? Yeah, there's more photo data from that day. Nope, that's the only one in the computer. Hey, hey, Nick! Can we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Yeah. We'll put that security lady in her place with this. Right, we'll put her in her place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Why, you could be the next evil match straight. Hey, what do I have to be the villain? Relax, it was just a joke. So are we done for today? Whoa. All right, going back down here, because I almost dropped you guys. Hold on, hold on. Fix the tripod now. Because you completely fell off my lamp, so yeah, you're going to stay there now. There we go. 
think there's photos we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe he really was a security lady. To be contender. That's what we fucked up. I'm sorry. Trial time. I actually like doing the trials more than the investigations. Investigations take a long time. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show at the court that at 2.30 p.m., on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented at, during the trial will all point to this fact. I'm sorry, I can't read. I'm illiterate. So. <laughs> hmm, I see. Very well. I'd like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well. I'll call the most familiar face. Detective Gumshoe to the stand. Why are we Detective Gumshoe to the stand. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through of their action scene during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studio was, see, was here at 1 p.m. that day. Uh, 1 p.m. on that day. That security station there is a gate, see? That security station is a gate, see? Uh -huh, thank you. Pass that of the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, <clears throat> there were only three people here the victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant, Will Pappas, <clears throat> and the young woman, the pro production assistant. production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was a murder weapon. <clears throat> that's the case, in brief. Anyone would like to hear that again? Hmm, that's not that whole thing again. <laughs> Fucking skip it. I never want to hear that again. They can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear? How medieval. Your Honor. This case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? Hmm. My, aren't you a handsome fellow? Thank you. For the mental <laughs> Damn, now I want now I wish I hit now I wish I hit listen again. My aren't you a handsome th Oh god, I remember this bitch simping over Edgeworth. I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Your name, please. 
Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Now you're being weird. Your name, please! <laughs> Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Wendy old bag, dearie. So just call me Grandma. It's been, oh, God. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Objection! Objection! I, I object to the witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I'm just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get on to the testimony. Now the witness was stationed on the... Ow. Ooh. <laughs> Got a random surge about freaking forehead. I did not feel good. Now the witness was stationed on the, at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, he I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone had to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was 1 o'clock when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then till 5 o'clock. Now the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers. That man right there, and he was heading toward the studio. You saw the defendant then? Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. So you saw Mr. Powers? That's what I said. Got a wax in your ears, Sonny. Nick, this is your chance. Yeah, time to pull out the secret weapon. I'll say it again. It was him. Objection! Let me get this straight, old bag. Er, Miss Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? Well, you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? J just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? Another, none other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Old Bag, is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? But I'm a mama. Anyone can plainly see that's powers, right? No, they can't! Um, well, I mean, I wonder? True, Mr. Powers does play the role of a steel samurai. doing it's hard for me this is really is to do, to do flip flop between voices this quickly it's good training though it's good training though this, this is training to be a voice actor it's good for me true mr powers does play the role of the steel samurai but that doesn't mean mr powers is the steel samurai i, I know that i wasn't born yesterday clearly no one, no one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss uh, Witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Hmm, nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised? The prosecution would like to ask the old... the witness... Please make known. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young young detective. Uh. <laughs> Excuse me. 
He told me this isn't any. He told me this isn't any good. This isn't. This isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't give it a second look. Wow, old windbag has left even Edgewa speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof then. Yes, let's hear about your bullshit. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw a power strip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, I lo now look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his legs, see? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was powers. Happy? Hmm. So he had sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's gotta be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Gals has to press her until she comes up with a new statement. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. His samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This struck me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Trip and fall. Yes, and I think he's supposed to be the steel samurai. What a laugh! So power sprained his ankle. I hope to make it better, of course. You hope to make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. Let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where is the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about power's ankle. Hmm. You may continue with your testimony. Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained. Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. He dusts the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot? Okay. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is... Where's the Steel Samurai costume now? Um... Um, actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Mm. Anyway, that's not important. The witness did see the seal samurai, yes. And it's clear that the person that's in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Mm. I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Mr. Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. So if no one else went to the studio, then it'll have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. 
Just wait, you may cross examine the witness. Are you absolutely sure? Mm. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. Nobody suspicious looking, qu looking past by at all. Nobody suspicious looking, right? No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. They were going into the studio and had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, edgy boy. Edgy boy? It's our fucking nickname. Don't take our nickname. The old windbag sure has balls. Or, well, you know what I mean. The old windbags have a way of skipping over important details after all. Or, for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps? What about before you go to the got to the guard station? You mean before one? Why everyone was in the employee area before then? And I locked the main gate so no one else could get in. Not to mention. If they had, I would have seen them. Um, and I don't, I don't think I have any. I don't think I have anything to. I feel like I should present the photo again, but that'll be too easy. cheat the game. I'm gonna save right here. And then, um, I'm just gonna... I'm just, I'm just gonna guess. Well, actually, let me, let me present that first statement first. How do you know that? Eh? Didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective. And then, after some rubbish about it being a secret, pal, he told me everything. Gumshoe shares his fellow officer's fondness for donuts. I'm so good for that. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, well, that wasn't it. Stuff too, so I'll go help. Because uh, she only has four statements that I pressed them all off, so I can't get any more information. Go see before that was Mr. Oh, 
do I present the photo again? That was the one thing I thought I was supposed to do. Oh, Alright, let's see what happens. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, Sonny. So whenever, whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture? And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Ooh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, you might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Looked it on the back of, I pray the words, October 15th, 2 p.m. photo 2. Ah! Photo number 2, I forgot about that part. Even I know that means it was taken on 2 p.m. on October 15th. Really, Sonny? Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is a bit the end where it says photo number two. Photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? You shouldn't this be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Order! Order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I wanted to ask the witness. This evidence shows that no, not one, but two people went to the studio that day. <coughs> Yet there's only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access, the security lady herself. Eh? Me? You watch your mouth, whippersnapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, ahem. I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help. Huh? Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Hm, some help you are. You're a whippersnapper, too. Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Oldbag? Ah, that's right! I, I just remembered something! Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate? Someone other than the Steel Samurai? Er, uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. <sighs> I see. Your testimony, please. <laughs> the judge is done with this bitch, too. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security cam computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it now that I remember throwing... Now, come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Miss Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny, I only just remembered it. Right, anyway... Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination before I shoot myself. Well, I'd say this is a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. How exactly do you determine what isn't, what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. For the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Old Bag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Fanboy. Fanboy? Steel Samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They always hanging about. One was there that day. Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The grain has been loose for a while. It leaves outside, and, well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? 
I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And? They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. K kids So, on the photo that you erased... It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. What? Order, order! Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate and on the way pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the steel samurai dragging his leg, and the other was a boy who looked to be about in the second or third grade. Oh yes, well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade, hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to be the samurai spear. Boswell, I think. It's quite heavy. Right. As I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting file information this time. Well, Lucky Rabbit, hope that helped you out. You have to present the photo again, apparently. Didn't think you had to do that, but you do. Mr. Powers? Yes? Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? Maybe a little lower here. Tell me straight, you were dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? No, I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping. Honest. So, who was in the steel who was the steel samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The steel samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Everyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should have you should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone want to steal a sam steel samurai costume. So why does this leave me? It doesn't look good. Uh, me. You're, the only you're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are we going to do? Let's see, play for more time. Let's start targeting someone else that could have conceivably done this. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right, but... Pick the right person. If you pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not op optimistic at all, actually. Hey, Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. <sighs> what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. No problem. I'm glad I figured it out, because I definitely would have been sitting here for a minute. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on the matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly ten years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. But there is still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well. Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed the crime. Order! Interesting. Let us hear you have in mind. However, be aware this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right. Great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So, who's this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the murder? Okay, well... Well, it definitely wasn't the kid. Because... I remember, I remember watching this one clip of the anime where even Phoenix couldn't lift that fucking spear. Not easily. So, the assistant definitely couldn't have done it, so... My choice is old bag. 
It was a security lady. Wendy Oldbag. Who? The Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they have been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady. Old bag. What? Whippersnapper? Order, order. Is this true, old bag? Old bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you. Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the samurai, the steel samurai costume. Steal the steel fool. That slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would you go through the, the trouble of wearing the steel samurai costume? Simply, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes 2, baby! That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so y'all think I did it, is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there, do something. What's my move? I mean, now's my chance to take this the whole, the whole way. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? And you forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute! What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy! The one whose photo I erased! He was only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter! When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds tops! Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, is it... is it to... Or is it be nice to the kids and mean to your elders' day? Whipper snapper. I have proof. P proof? Indeed. Indeed? Let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? Uh... Your Honor, the murder weapon was a samurai spear. That very spear is shown here in this photo. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible. I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? <clears throat> the windbag, speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy... What was her name? Something old bag, Your Honor. And the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. Wait a second! I'm not gonna just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me! I'm talking! Oh great, stop the presses! The windbag wants to talk! Miss Old Bag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. N not to talk about? B by whom? Huh, you mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, testify! Surprise testimony! Global Studios hoping to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day at all. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Miss Oldbag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? 
They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done? How could they done a run through of their actions without a director? Of course. Yes. Well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run through. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. S studio 2? There's a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path of the monkey's head has fallen over. That's a monkey? Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I don't really ask those questions, but... So they were actually in the studio? Yes, the whole day. When they heard about this murder... When they heard about the murder... When they heard... When they heard about the murder, they beat it before the cops came. I feel sorry for Edgeworth. Almost. Should we let them hang it on this one? Nick, I guess pressing her is the right thing to do. For an old windbag, she sure keeps like she's mm, she sure likes keeping secrets. Let's get as much information as we can. Miss Oldbag, this is a trial for murder. I know that, silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. And they gave me a little bonus on the side. So you got your bonus and you still taught. I think I've asked all the questions I have to ask. No harm, I guess no harm in getting as much info as I can. Them? Who were these people? Well, I think I did that. Yeah, I was already, I was already here. Let's get this. Your Honor, we have learned there was other, we have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and uh, some bigwigs were all present. Yet as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold it as impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people who we have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceeding in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court is adjourned. One good smack of the gavel. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, oh, really? It's nothing. Oh, or should I? We'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. They'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So, Nick. Have you figured out just who it was in that Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been old Windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Yeah, I know! Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off of Mr. Powers. Poor old Windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there, with or without my accusation. 
Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right. I'll be back to visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. To be continued. To be continued indeed, because... <coughs> Sorry. I'm gonna save, and I'm gonna end this stream here. Um, so, once I end this here, I, I've set Twitch to save the video for 14 days. But what I'm gonna start doing is, for remote play, because it's a lot less, it's a lot less power use for my laptop, so I can record and stream at the same time. So I'll be posting the recorded version on YouTube. Um, it'll be, it should be by the same name, I think. Let me open Twitch real quick. Give me a second, let me, let me open Twitch real quick, actually. It should, it should be by the same name, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, should be by the same name. Um, so yeah, you can find it. Find it on Twitch if you wanna, if you missed it, or it's on YouTube. It'll be on both those platforms, and I will, I should be able to stream again as soon as possible. I'm not sure when, honestly. It, it's kind of at the moment. It's kind of just random. So, uh. Be on the lookout, I guess, and I uh, appreciate the follow, Lucky Rabbit, and I'll see you guys next time.